Back to, uh, it's been called embarrassing, unjust, narcissistic. And I think all of those things are really obvious, but as a location independent entrepreneur, I think that there's something even worse. And it's affecting tons of location independent entrepreneurs, even those who aren't Americans. Stay tuned to hear my reaction to this insepid American law. Welcome to the Unconventional Entrepreneur Show. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, we share new videos to help liberty-minded entrepreneurs and investors just like you find more personal, financial, and location independence. So be sure to hit the subscribe and the notification buttons so you never miss your chance to find more freedom in this unfree world. Back in 2010, American entrepreneurs got slapped by another draconian overreach of the IRS. It became an absolute nightmare, and not only for Americans. It's affecting foreign financial institutions, foreign governments, and even other entrepreneurs who aren't American citizens. In fact, this draconian law is one of the reasons that I did this to my green card. FACTA stands for the Foreign Account Tax Compliant Act. But what it really is, is an unjust abortion of Americans' rights, especially those Americans who don't live within its territorial borders. And even more so, it's an extension of the US police state on non-citizens and non-residents. FACTA requires that all financial institutions like banks and investment houses, and even some non-financial institutions report all assets that are held by American citizens and residents in banks and, and storage facilities overseas. If they don't, those institutions get a 30% withholding on any transactions that go through American banks. With the US being the world's reserve currency, that really includes every international transfer that ever happens. FATCA also requires that American citizens and residents report those same accounts and earnings to the IRS. Because hey, I mean, if one party reporting something is good, then clearly having two or more spending time and money doing it is even better. FACTA is completely draconian and it forces banks outside of the US to essentially spend billions of dollars to become unpaid IRS informers against Americans who don't even live in the US anymore. To put this in perspective, Eritrea, a one government African dictatorship is the only other country in the world who taxes citizens who don't live within the country. But they don't have anywhere near the political muscle and the political strength of the US, so they can't afford to enforce it the way that the US does. It's no wonder that US citizenship and green card renunciations are skyrocketing right now. It's really the only way that you could ever break free of that tax prison. But I guess the US government doesn't care that they're losing their tax slaves. They have millions of more to back them up. Arguably though, the worst part about this stupid law is that even non-Americans are getting screwed by it. Most obviously is the price tag. Foreign institutions have been forced to shell out over a trillion dollars to try and stay in compliance and keep their records up to date. It's no wonder that foreign banks are starting to treat American clients like lepers and no longer want their business. But it also affects us non-American entrepreneurs because if you ever want to partner with an American, now you get sucked in to that entire totalitarian regime. By having an American business partner, now all of your financial records, bank accounts for the business, and everything else that your business does becomes responsible to report to the IRS. Even if your business has nothing to do with the US, even if you have no American clients or do no business in the US at all, that all becomes reportable. And plus, as a bonus, you also get that great joy of being treated like a pariah by any banks outside of the U.S. that you want to deal with. Since FACTA was enacted, the U.S. has managed to collect about $13.5 billion of taxes that they believe that they were owed. And for that privilege, the 9 million or so Americans who are living outside of its borders have got to shell out an additional average of $2,000 per person in extra filing fees and extra paperwork. And foreign financial institutions have lost over $1 trillion trying to stay compliant. 
Unfortunately, if you're an American or if you're a green card holder, there is no getting around the fact of legislation. It's become a part of your life. As of 2010, banking privacy for American citizens and for green card holders is officially dead. And for those two groups, taxation without representation has become a part of life that you're going to have to just deal with forever for as long as you want to stay chained to that U.S. government and tax regime. Americans, all Americans, whether they're, they're living abroad or not, should be protesting this draconian law with everything that they have. But unfortunately, they're not. They've been convinced that, you know, even if you don't live in the U.S., you should be paying for covering the U.S. government. If you're a citizen of another country, all I can tell you is be careful who you partner with. If you partner with an American, you're signing over your privacy and your rights and giving them over to the long arm of the U.S. state. Does it matter? Well, only you can answer that for you. But as a libertarian entrepreneur myself, I don't think it's any of their damn business what you're doing outside of their borders. And honestly, personally, I believe you're selling out if you give them any of that information when you don't have to. You're also welding your business success to one of the most totalitarian and draconian and really complex tax regimes in the entire world. You might think that you're location independent, but if you have to comply with FACTA, you're never really completely free. But regardless of whether you wanna stay an American citizen or a green card holder or not, or whether as a non-citizen, you, you find that there's an American partner that you think is worth getting your privacy and rights stripped for, it's more important than ever for you to find the legal tax strategies and freedom strategies that you can use to find more freedom because trying to skirt the rules has become completely impossible. So check out this video for more information on how you can find more freedom legally in this unfree world. I'm Glenn Kowalski of the Unconventional Entrepreneur Show and I'll see you over there.